Hi everyone, just a quick video on the modern hybrid battery and the, the general layout of how it uh, goes together and how it works. So what I've got in front of me is a generation two and three uh, Prius battery and this is pretty common uh, layout for, for most hybrid batteries you find on a modern car. So we're looking at this uh, era of, of hybrid battery being around about 2010 or so. Uh, just a word of warning, obviously it's a high voltage system so please don't work on it without uh, the necessary training and, and uh, guidance. So. Um, yeah, first of all, then what we've got is the, the hybrid battery itself. So this is what we call the stack. And the stack here has got 28 modules. So each of these uh, sections is a module and they look something like this. So this is an individual module that we've got here. Uh, within each module, I've cut the bottom of an old one that was dead. Uh, we've got six cells. So within that, we've got six cells. Each cell is 1.2 volts and each module is uh, 7.2 volts. Um, 28 are arranged together, so that's where you get your 200 volts from. 201.6 volts to be precise, if the batteries are all brand new. So that's the stack there. On top of the stack here, we've got two cooling pipes, so this helps keep the temperatures in check. And then we've got some wiring here that leads to over here to this little uh, temperature gauge as well. So that's maintaining or monitoring the temperature uh, within the stack. Uh, on the end of the stack, just beyond the bit where uh, I don't have, there would have been a fan as well, and that helps cool all this, these components down and end the stack to some degree. Uh, on the end of the stack then, what we've got here is uh, an ECU, which is a control unit for the hybrid battery, and that's monitoring delivery and performance of the, the battery itself. And then down here, what we've got is high-powered relays. So those relays are the switches that allow the voltage to come out of the hybrid battery and up towards the, uh, the generators and the, and the, and the wheels. Uh, alongside the stack here, what we've got is a bus bar. So there'll be two orange cables here. Obviously, orange cables are high voltage, and it basically is a loop that links all those individual uh, modules together. And they'll be the same on the other side as well at the back here. Um, <clears throat> so that's how they'll link together and give you the 200 volts. Uh, at the back here, what I've got as well is the service plug. So the service plug goes in there and links them all together. So the reason you have a service plug is when you take that off, it breaks the chain, it breaks the link, and therefore they all effectively become individual modules again. Um, obviously, part of a the service, there is filters that come with these for the fan, so make sure you're changing those as part of a service. And then I've got the, the uh, 12, 12.6 volt battery as well. This is a different type of battery to a normal internal combustion one. It's a smaller battery with a smaller current. Doesn't need the high current a normal internal combustion engine does because it doesn't need to crank a, turn a starter motor over and, and crank an engine. Um, so if you leave these idle for more than a couple of weeks, it will go flat. Um, the reason you still need one though is for all the things that you need to control before you turn the car on. So door locks, car alarms, interior lights, all the things you need before you press the start button are controlled through this. The other thing that's controlled through this is also these high powered relays. So by having it controlled through the 12 volt battery means if you disconnect the 12 volt battery here at the negative terminal, it powers down the relays and that means the voltage cannot leave the battery. So if you're going to disconnect a battery and again, seek uh, professional advice before you do, you would make sure the key's removed from the car, check at the car that it's the key not found, that it's isolated. Come and disconnect the 12 volt battery at the negative terminal, that powers down the relays, which ensures the voltage can't leave and then remove the service plug uh, from the port at the back. That disconnects the, the link, the bus bar down the side of it uh, and reduces the voltages down to individual modules uh, so it can't come out as a, as a high voltage. Um, obviously you'll find back street garages just take the service plug out. Um, not advised, it's gonna be fine 99.9% .9 of the time, but the reason you don't go straight there is because you've still got uh, high powered relays, voltage wanting to leave the battery and the possibility of arcing or, or a flash um, if it's damp or there's any, any faults with the system. So I hope that makes sense and I'll see you in the next one.